Hi there, Dr. Debbie here and Happy New Year. You know, with the new year, you want to bring in so many good things. You want to leave behind so many things that no longer serve. And one of the things that no longer serves is an unhealed betrayal. And uh, I'm the founder and CEO of the PPT Post Betrayal Transformation Institute, which is an online space uh, to fully heal physically, mentally, emotionally, psychologically, spiritually from the betrayal of a family member, partner, friend, coworker, self. Now, while we've been taught time heals all wounds, I have the proof when it comes to betrayal, that's not true. We've had probably about 50,000 people who've taken our post-betrayal syndrome quiz to see to what extent they're struggling. And there's a question on the quiz that says, is there anything else you'd like to share? People write things like, my betrayal happened 40 years ago. I can still feel the hate. My betrayal happened 15 years ago. Feels like it happened yesterday. My betrayal happened 35 years ago. I'm unwilling to trust again. So we know when it comes to betrayal, there is a lingering impact, but there doesn't have to be. There's actually uh, five stages you, you will go through if you are to fully heal fully and completely. And most people out of the five stages get stuck in stage three. I talk all about it in, uh, in trust again, where I map out the five stages. And, um, and I found that because so many people get stuck in stage three from hardened to healed, my most recent book is just about stage three. But I want to show you what an unhealed betrayal looks like because it shows up in your work, in your health, in your relationships. For example, in your work, maybe you want to be a team player, you want to be a collaborative partner, but the person you trusted the most proved untrustworthy. How can you trust that boss, that coworker? Or you want that raise or promotion, you deserve it, but your confidence was shattered in the betrayal. So you don't have the confidence to ask. You're bitter and resentful instead. And that's the energy you're bringing to work with you every day. It can show up in our health. You may go to the most well-meaning, amazing doctors, coaches, healers, therapists to manage a stress-related sim you know, symptom, illness, condition, disease. At the root of it is an unhealed betrayal. Like, for example, in uh, you know, on the post-betrayal syndrome quiz, I think, believe it's 45% of anybody who's been betrayed from a family member, partner, friend, coworker. Uh, someone in a position of authority has a gut issue. And that could be anything from Crohn's, IBS, diverticulitis, uh, constipation, diarrhea, you name it. Now, think about it. You could go to the most well-meaning, incredible gut expert. But if you don't realize that there's an unhealed betrayal at the root of it, you know, you're, you're sort of hacking away at the symptoms at best. Here's how we see an unhealed betrayal when it comes to relationships. I see it in two ways. The first way is an unhealed betrayal shows up in repeat betrayals. The faces change, but it's the same thing. And you go from boss to boss to boss, friend to friend to friend, partner to partner to partner. And you're like, what the heck? Is it me? Yes, it is. It's not you in that uh, you're just this magnet for betrayal. It's you in that there's this profound lesson that is ready to be learned. Maybe the lesson is you are lovable, worthy, deserving. You need better boundaries in place, whatever it is. Until and unless you get that lesson, you will keep having opportunities in the form of people to teach you. <laughs> the other way we see uh, an unhealed betrayal in relationships is when the big wall goes up. Like, nope, been there, done that. No one's getting near me or my heart again. We think it's coming from a place of strength. It's not. It's coming from fear. So here's what I would invite you to do. Consider, is an unhealed betrayal holding you back in your work, in your health, in your relationships? And once you've realized that maybe that's the case, take a look at how long that's been the case. The biggest piece of this is, not the biggest, one of the biggest is, this unhealed betrayal could be from decades ago. Decades ago. Now think of this. The person may not even know, care, or even remember. And here you are living with you know the, the impact of it, and it's showing up in the most important areas of your life. And it's something that happened decades ago. So as we move into this new year, do you want to carry that with you? 
going forward. Of course, we can't change something, you know, anything we're not aware of. So how about if today is the day you realize that unhealed betrayal has held me back long enough. And here's the thing. You've been through the worst of it already. You owe it to yourself to do something good with something bad. So I'm here to help you with all of that. I'm going to be coming to you regularly with, with tips, tools, resources, strategies to move fully, thoroughly, and completely through your betrayal once and for all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.